Hi everybody, in this video, I would like to show to you What is convolution? Convolution is a signal operation that involves two continuous signals In this case, let's say we have G1 and G2 and the output of the convolution is G D. Mathematically, G T is equal to the integration from minus infinity to infinity G one tau G2 T minus tau D tau and this symbols is usually used to indicate the conversion of two signals in this example let's say we have um, two different continuous signal G1T and G2T the G1T has a uh, non-zero values from T5 equal to T equal to 10 the rest amplitudes of the signals are zeros G2T on the other hand has a uh, non-zero Amplitude values from minus 4 to minus 3 and the amplitude in this case is 1 the rest of the amplitudes are zeros so based on this integrations firstly we want to find g1 tau from g1 t so g1 tau from g1 t is simple just replace the units of the signal from t to tau so as you can see the domain is now different but the shape of the signal is similar after that we want to transform g2t into g2t minus tau so the signal at the left side is g2t and the signal at the right side is g2t minus tau the domain is now in tau and these variables t plus 3 and t plus 4 indicates that the location of the signals is varied depends on the value of t so now we have two signals g1 tau has a non zeros values of amplitudes from 5 to 10 and we have another signals g2 t minus tau which varying position of the signal depends on the value of t so now we want to calculate the gt based on this equation uh, firstly we have to multiply g1 tau with g2 t minus tau and then do the integrations of the outputs of the multiplication from tau minus infinity to infinity so based on these examples we should have five possible cases that we have to evaluate 
so this is the first case when the first case happens t plus 4 must be less than 5 or t is less than 1 when we do the integrations multiplication of these two signals will give us zero values so the convolution integral or the output of the convolution in this case is zero so this is the second case the second case happens when t plus 4 is greater than 5 or t is greater than 1 and the other condition is that t plus 3 less than 5 according to these two points or t is less than 2 so when we calculate the convolutions for the case number 2 so we multiply the output of the of these two signals so we will the, the value of the multiplications the amplitude is 5 from 5 to t plus 4 so the rest is zeros so when we do the integrations we have to integrate the non-zero range which is from 5 to t plus 4 and in this case gt equal to 5t minus 1 the output gt is equal to 5 multiplied with t minus 1 So this is uh, case number three. The case number three happens when, if we compare these two points, t plus three greater than five, or t is greater than two, and the other condition is t plus four less than ten, or t is less than six. So when we combine these two, we have t is between two and six. So the integral of the multiplication of these two signals should be computed from t minus three to t minus four according to these two points the gt in this case is equal to 5 which is a constant this is the case number 4 it happens when t plus 4 greater than 10 or t greater than 6 the other condition is t plus 3 less than 10 or t is less than 7 so we combine these two conditions we know that the case number 4 happens from t equal to 6 to t equal to 7 the case number 4 happens in this range So the integration of multiplication of these two signals so we have to do the integration from t plus 3 to 10 the 
amplitude of the multiplication is 5 when we solve these equations we should get gt equal to 5 multiply with 7 minus t lastly case number 5 happens when t plus 3 is greater than 10 or t is greater than 7 and the integrations of multiplication of these two signals from minus infinity to infinity will be zero so this is how to write the final answer for every range we have to write the equations in this case the gt equal to zero when t is less than 1 gt equal to 5 multiply with t minus 1 for the t in between 1 and 2 gt is a constant 5 when t in between 2 and 6 gt equal to 5 multiply with 7 minus t when t in the range of 6 to 7 and gt equal to 0 when t is greater than 7 so we can plot the gt based on this final answer 0 in this range 5 multiply with t minus 1 in this range constant 5 5 multiply with 7 minus t and 0 so what we have done so far is a convolution of two different signals in this case this is the g1t so this is how g1t looks like convolution with another signal g2t this is how the g2t looks like and this is the output of the convolution of these two signals that's all hope you enjoy it and i will see you in the next video